Hello again. Today I'm gonna to show you um, a lovely recipe, which is super easy to make. Um, it is a Spanish tortilla, and it only needs uh, three ingredients. Potatoes, uh, I've got shallot here, but you can use normal onion or spring onions or no onion at all. And then I've got eggs. I've got four eggs, but I might only need three. Uh, once I fry the potatoes, I will see what the consistency is. I've got 500 grams of potatoes. It's two, two big potatoes. It's like roughly 240 to 60 grams each. Uh, we are sending this on our, on our fresh boxes. So you can definitely make this at home when, I, with, when you receive our fresh boxes. Uh, and it will feed probably three people. Um, with the one I'm making today. If you've got more potatoes, brilliant. Um, but the recipe today, I'm here at home alone, so it's just for, for me with leftovers. I am using sunflower oil or vegetable oil, it's good. Don't use uh, olive oil or extra virgin olive oil first because um, it's expensive and it's lovely and you don't want it to spoil it, just frying it. Um, and then because uh, extra virgin olive oil and olive oil has a lower burning point so if you use it for frying anything not just the potatoes uh, it will burn and it will taste bitter um, so it's better every time you're frying it's better to use sunflower or vegetable oil here i have 500 milliliters or around 500 milliliters of the vegetable oil which i used last week to make another tortilla i normally recycle for if it's for a week a week and a half i can keep the oil and reuse it, just sieve it and, and keep it um, and reuse it because yeah, it uses quite a lot. So I've, I've um, peeled the potatoes and then I'm gonna just um, slice them. You can you can dice them, you can chop them, uh, you can mandolin them as well or in the food processor as well. Uh, I normally like doing it by hand. Um, the only thing you want to uh, achieve is just that all are similar size so they all cook at the same time and now I'm just gonna um, chop the shallot not too big you can slice it as well I've got two size pans this is the one I'm gonna use a bit bigger for frying the potatoes and then this is the one I'm gonna use to actually make the, the tortilla in so here is better because all the potatoes are going to be spread around and they're going to have a space between themselves so it's going to be nice um, frying instead of almost like um, steaming uh, and then you want it a little bit more compact because once you fry them they're going to reduce a little bit and um, so you will need a little a little bit smaller uh, pan heat up the pan and pour the oil into the bigger pan Uh, let it get hot and then once it's hot we will pour the mixture of potatoes and shallots or onions in. Um, the oil is hot now so I'm going to pour the potatoes. You can see it's sizzling and the onions are here too and then mix it. I, I am going to turn down now the, um, the heat a little bit so they don't burn or, or caramelize too much too quickly. Um, and I'm gonna let them cook at a medium, medium low, medium heat uh, for 10, 15 minutes. It depends how thick or small you cut your potatoes, it will take less or more time. I think this kind normally takes like quite thin, 10-15 minutes, but just check um, when it's soft. I tend to stir or move the potatoes a little bit every 2-3 minutes, 4 minutes, so they, they don't get colour just on one side. While the potatoes and onion are cooking, I am going to crack the eggs in a bowl. Um, it's, this is the same bowl I use for um, slicing the potatoes. So I'm gonna start with three and then once I mix the eggs with a mixture of potato and uh, onion I will see if it needs a bit more um, more egg or not and then just whisk a little bit. So 
the potatoes have been cooking for yet yeah, 10-15 minutes um, and I want to show you that they are soft so just pick up one and it's just it's quite easy to go through you see it, it breaks as well um, so that is ready so now we are going to drain it I've got a bowl with the colander you can use a sieve as well to drain and then switch off the heat and then we are going to pour all here and get rid of all that oil. So I've got the drained mixture of fried potatoes and onion and I've got the whisk eggs. I'm just going to combine them together and see the consistency. Which I think we definitely need another egg. Mix it all through and because they are hot I mean the mixture is gonna get the egg is gonna almost cook through it's not but, um, so the mixture is gonna get drier and drier um, I can show you it is quite dry um, and you want a really moist um, and eggy tortilla so I'm gonna add another egg so it will be four in total And just make through. Yeah, that's much better already. You can see like liquidy. So now is when we season it, and you have to be generous here. Um, got some salt, six mold on salt, and some pepper. At this stage, will be when you can put different flavors to the tortilla. So I'm just doing a, a normal plain one. But here you can add, um, maybe cook chorizo on the side, cook the chorizo on the side, and then you mix it through here. Saute, courgette is delicious too, and it makes it really nice and moist as well, a uh, tortilla. Uh, black pudding, morcilla, Spanish morcilla. Um, any, any cheese, cheddar, parmesan, manchego, um, any flavors that you can think of, any any ingredients that you really like, um, peppers, rusty peppers, even prawns, um, yeah, any any flavors that you really like or you have around, you can play around and, and add them. But I will add them at this stage, uh, and if they need to be cooked, cook them on the side and then um, add them in. So I have changed the pans. I've got the little one now. Uh, I put it on the hob. Uh, you really need a hot pan when you first put the tortilla back into the pan because if not it's gonna stick to the pan you also need some of the oil I used to fry the um, potatoes I'm gonna put it in the pan just one tablespoon is fine so I've got the pan hot and I'm just gonna pour it in spread it around a bit around you can see it's not sticking and now I can turn it down a bit so it's gonna cook through a little bit without getting too much color at the bottom um, so yeah minimal heat and I'm gonna probably cook it for a couple of minutes on each side it's a small tortilla so it doesn't need too much uh, it's not gonna be too thick either because I only had two potatoes so you can see it's still very very liquid in the middle um, so let it, yeah, let it cook for a couple of minutes. Um, this is all up to you. Um, in Spain, people like all sorts of tortillas and all sorts of kind of dan, da, or danness. Um, I like in mine quite runny, um, but I understand that some people like them cooked through completely. So the time that you use spending here now, it really depends on how um, eggy or dan you want. Um, one trick is always try to use, to turn it over, the tortilla over, try to use a plate which is just slightly bigger, not too big because then it's quite awkward and difficult, but just um, like an inch or an inch and a half uh, wider than your pan. Um, so, and then you just have to go for it. You have to be brave and just go for it. This is a quite an easy one because it's a small one, um, but when you're doing bigger amounts, it, get, it, it can get quite heavy as well. So yeah, just put the plate up and then just go for it, turn it over, perfect. 
and this nice and nice and caramelized color but not too caramelized so again you want the pan to be hot again when you uh, put it back in so i'm going to put one tablespoon again of the oil and um, yeah it's hot so now take the one the tortilla and then slice it slide it and then turn it down again and then if you just go around with the wooden spoon it will make it really lovely a bit thicker because it's making it into the middle um, a nice nice round shape and now yes as before um, let it cook as little as long as you want but on a low heat um, until it's done for me it's literally a minute and a half or a couple of minutes because also I've been using uh, hot potatoes so it's gonna cook through much easier than if you fry the potatoes keeping them on the side and then maybe tomorrow in a couple of hours um, you mix with the eggs and then you make the tortilla because that can be done in advance as well um, so yeah, if they are hot, if you're dealing with the hot potatoes, it's going to cook much faster than if you're using fried cold potatoes. Um, so that for me is ready. So I'm going to get a nice um, serving plate and turn it around. Exactly the same as before. Put it on top. Okay. And it's done. So now it's your turn uh, to try at home. Uh, as I said, there is potatoes and there is onions or shallots in your boxes. There is eggs in your boxes as well. So if you want to give it a go, uh, please do and share it with us. Or if you have any questions, um, just um, yeah, on Instagram or email me. Um, enjoy.